Okay, this may or may not be one of the worst ideas I've ever done. So, we we've got some magic grass straight off the grass, <laughs> straight off the bat. But we are playing, well, uh, kind of playing something that I am calling Tainted Minecraft. What is going on with that skulk over there? So, I haven't really played around with wardens very much, by the way. I've got my sophisticated MMT skin on. I, I changed it earlier and I can't be bothered to change it back. <laughs> so, you're gonna have to put up with that. So, yeah, we are playing Tainted Minecraft, or what I'm calling Tainted Minecraft, aka. We're, um, we're living in the deep dark. Now I've put this world onto only deep dark biome. So that is what has caused all this. And we have a few problems that um, might stop our safety on the world. So I've been doing a little bit of a playtest. I've done playtests because I had to check some things and see if this is actually doable. And it is. It, it is doable. But I did have to spawn these guys in because animals don't spawn. Because <laughs> it's a deep dark. I mean, passive mobs, they, they don't spawn in the deep dark. So I didn't really have much choice. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to... I heard that. Thank God a shriek wasn't there. But yeah, I I came to this part because it's flat and it's not completely covered in skulk. Um, I, where are you? You down there? How does you wait? I I have a feeling we're going to be um, sneaking. What is setting off? There's one over there, but I don't think I'm that close enough to set it off. This is literally just going to be this entire s series, if you want to see it as a series. I thought it was it was a fun idea, so I'm going with it. <laughs> Why is there a sensor down there? Oh god, there's um, some shriekers right there. But yeah. I was kind of like, okay, I haven't really played with Warden since they came out on this, on my, oh, it's you, on Minecraft. So I was kind of like, okay, what's a way that we can actually properly play with Wardens? And that is literally being in a deep dark world. Shush. I mean, I can run by it, so it's fine. There's no shriekers beside it. Right, so I think... We obviously need to start up a farm first because we need to breed these guys. We need to actually get a farm going so we can actually have food. We need to map out where all of the shriekers are. So there's one over there. I'm just staying around my animals because I'm a little nervous. There's so many sensors around here. But I don't think there is any shriekers other than that one. There's one reason why I also chose this one because although... I did want to play with wardens. I still want a safe place for my house. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is why um, I think we've also got. Oh yeah, we got some pumpkins over here, which was also quite nice. They're floating grass. Um, there is also the problem of no passive. Uh, not passive. They're passive. No hostile mob spotting. So the only problem that we have in this well, there's quite a few problems but the main problem that we have in this world is wardens now i've done so much testing on this type of world i've waited for night i waited for day there were no no hostile mob spawning other than wardens like that was literally the only problem well yeah the only problem was living in a deep dark <laughs> nothing spawns except wardens apparently um, and I must say, I've just done another playtest to see if there's dungeons and mine shafts. There are dungeons. There's no mine shafts for some reason, or at least I couldn't see any. 
So I think we actually just need to get mining because that right now I'm just running around. We need a tree. That would be helpful. Um, there's a tree over there, but there seems to be a thing in the way which doesn't fill me with joy. Uh, I do have a mini map. Could you yeah, think it? So there's a tree there. I'm glad I recognise what a tree is. Um. So that is in the path. So the is that the shriek there? That might be the shriek. Ooh. I don't want to make a waypoint, thanks. So I'm looking to. Oh, I'm looking at a different tree. I'm looking at that tree. So I'm guessing. Yeah, that would be a shriek because it's the same colour. Sorry, this is my analysis. I'm a little bit nervous to get started. So, <laughs> so there's a tree in that direction. If I'm looking at the... There's a shrieker over there. I don't like shriekers. Got some... I see you. Oh, I don't like this. We're just going to have to sneak. I don't know the distance for shriekers. Well, not shriekers, it would be the, the senses. Yeah. Oh, there's the tree. Oh, I don't like this. This is literally going to be this entire world. It's just me creeping around. I mean, I'm hoping to get to this tree. Then we can sort out a pickaxe. And then we can sort out the shriekers. <laughs> First, we've got to actually get to the tree. And let me guess, there's a shrieker right beside it. Bet there is. I like I do like how the first achievement that we got was um, the sneak one hundred. Wait, is there no shrieker here? <gasps> We're safe, guys. Unless there's one just chilling out in the ocean, I wouldn't be a surprise. There's plenty of sensors, but there's no shriekers from what I can see. So it is turning night time, but as I said, we will be safe because there's no hostile mobs other than the warden that spawns, unless it's a dungeon. So we should be fine. Ugh, let's just do this. Okay, we heard the sh we heard the sensor go off, but no shrieker. Sorry, I heard noises. And it sounded a little bit like Warden. But nothing has come up on my mini map. So I'm assuming that we're safe. Okay, it's just the, the sensors that make that noise. Shush. See, it's just them turning off. So there's no shrieker around here. We should probably wait here to get some <laughs> saplings. That wasn't me. I wasn't making any noise. Although I don't actually have to worry. Oh, was it the, the apple falling? Can we break a shriek uh, sensor with my fist? Oh, you can! Nice. So we can actually get the- wait, you get XP from this? Yo! This is gonna be like super easy XP because there's so many shriekers. Oh, the shriekers. Sensors. So we're actually safe now. We need to break this tree. Because we need those sweet saplings! Because I don't particularly want to keep going around the world breaking trees down. Because although there's no hostile mobs, this world is still ridiculously dangerous. We've only got one sapling. It's very helpful. So yeah, this is a very dangerous world in regards to set uh, shriekers and sensors. We can do some pretty nifty redstone though, I think. We can do some like noise activated doors. I feel like there's going to be like uh, shriekers like hidden below the ground. I don't like this. I really don't. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Hello, my friends. How are you? So, we've got some wood. And now we can actually make a pickaxe to saw out these shriekers. Ooh, it works. I swear, I know how to play Minecraft. I've had a very tired day. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. So, one thing that we do actually have on this world is obviously ancient cities. Now, we can go stupidly OP with this. Like, just... Oh, that's a lot of shock down here. Skulk. Stone Age. So, yeah, we can get stupidly OP if we plan this out right. Because uh, ancient cities have got some pretty good loot in them. Let's just see if there's any uh, shriekers here. I will not be happy if there's shriekers. It doesn't look like it. We've just got some sensors. I do not like the noise that sensors do when they turn off. That's such a bad noise because it sounds like a warden. Oh my god, there's four shriek uh, sensors down here. I'm going to get so confused between these names. Like, I've seen wardens, but I haven't properly played around with the whole warden thing. So, okay. The one thing that I'm interested in, do you... Uh, Sansa's Shriek is born underwater, right? Yeah, okay. So we've got a Nath pickaxe. Getting an upgrade. So now we've got the dangerous bit of actually... Dealing with the shriekers, which I'm not in the slightest looking forward to. I don't know if I can break shriekers with a p uh, stone pickaxe, but we're gonna try. There's one right here, and I don't like how it's here because it's right next to the pumpkins. Can I break it? Um. This makes me so nervous. <laughs> Let's try. Okay, you can. I was so glad there was not another Shriko. Oh my. <laughs> okay, we can clear this area up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the noise that uh, sensors do when they turn off. Because <laughs> it actually sounds like a warden. Like moving around. We have so much skulk. This is skulk, right? Yeah. So we've got a few sensors over there, but whether or not there's any shriekers with them, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, nothing spawns. Like, it's literally me and the animals. That's literally it. I've also looked for villages. There are no villages. <laughs> Wait, before we do this, we need to actually see if there's any uh, shriekers. I, I swear I'm smart. I, I don't like doing this right next to a sensor. Mm, I don't like it. Whose idea was this, by the way? Like, like I know it was mine, but why did I do it? Is there any shriekers? This is literally just going to be the entire like first few episodes. Is literally me just creeping around. <sighs> I'm scared with this bit because you it's it drops off really quickly and I don't know if there's any shriekers behind it. Interesting black cross block is that is that just skulk? I don't know. But yeah, it drops drops off really quickly. I don't know if there's a a, a shrieker. Took me a while to work out which one it was. Um uh, we've got some over here. Um right here. There's no shriekers. Not that I can see, and I must Okay. 
No sound was made by a shrieker, so we're good to go. So we've survived our first night outside. So we've got this shrieker over here. So we obviously... Um, looking at the map, that is, I think, the only shrieker. It's right there. So if we come over here, hop down. We're going to literally just completely cover this in wall. That is literally my game plan with this. It's just to cover the entire place with wall. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought I actually set off one. You can see the redstone element to it, which is cool. I don't know why I'm sh crouching, but then again, you'd never know if we go into the range of a shrieker. Yeah, this episode is actually just me trying to make sure that this place is safe enough to live. Because I don't really want any wardens running around my house, to be honest. So we've got another one down there. Let's just get these ones. Uh, I'm not seeing that many shriekers around here, which is actually really good. Oh my god, we're on level 10 already. Right. Oh, there's two down here. Don't think there's any shriekers around here. Yeah, I'm being careful now because one, I've never really faced a warden before, and two, I I don't I'm naked, so <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of going a bit careful here. Don't believe there's any shriekers around you, so you can just go away. Easy. You got two shriekers over here. Let's just nab them out. Um, creeping, creeping towards you. Oh wait, 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 wait. Um, this might actually be really dangerous. <laughs> I'm glad I stopped myself because if I break that, the sensors are gonna make the other one go off. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Um, if you know how I can deal with that. Uh, please let me know. And there's another shrieker over there. That's very nice. So this is our only problem because we've got two shriekers right beside each other and I don't know how to deal with it because I'm pretty sure if I break one, the other one is going to go off. So we're just going to avoid that bit for now. So I think that's... We've got this stuff here. I should have been more careful there. Luckily, there wasn't any problems. I feel like we're going to get the warden spawning any second. That's honestly how it feels right now. I'm not seeing any sh uh, shriekers around here. So, if I just get that one, and then we just focus on this bit over here, I don't... Yeah. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Hello? Okay, there's nothing. You have no idea how careful I'm trying to be. So yeah, you can definitely see a few shriekers out in the ocean. By the way, that is also considered deep dark. It's literally all entirely deep talk. <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of these two because they're going to annoy me. Yeah, this entire world is completely deep dark. It may look like there's oceans, but it's, it's not. It's considered deep dark. I don't know how I'm going to get over to you. And that didn't do anything. I'm going to need more than that. We're just trying to remove as much danger as we can. Shush. I already know this one's fine because, you know, I've been walking around it. <laughs> so, you're fine. The amount of XP I'm getting. This is beautiful. You don't need to go that way. Some nice... Uh, I don't really care about copper. 
Does anyone care about copper? Bit of high glue. I think this area is somewhat safe other than those two shriekers. Because I don't know what to do about them. <laughs> like, they're right beside each other. <laughs> right, we can make a hoe. Although we have to do this right by the water. Because we don't have any iron yet. And I don't know the best place to do this. Ah, oh, it's so nice to freely run around. So this area down here is, yeah, that probably be the best place. Um, or over there. I mean, there's shriekers over there, so I'm not really feeling great about that area right now. What happens if a warden spawns in water? What what happens? Do they just drown? Oh! You didn't give me another chicken. I'm very disappointed in you. Okay, so we've got six seeds. <laughs> We're out of food. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go, a seedy place. Let's see if we can get any more. I don't know why, but I'm holding down the shift key and it's not going to do anything. You just hate that when you're just like, instincts, hold down the shift key. But then you're just like, oh, I don't have any hunger. Yeah, I think we've secured the area other than that one bit over there that has two shriekers, which I have no idea how to deal with. If you do know how to deal with it, please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> They are right next to each other. Where are they? Those two. They are literally right beside each other with two sensors from what I can see. Yeah, two sensors, two shriekers. That doesn't really fill me up with much joy. <laughs> Breaking one sensor will probably set off the other one. No, it's like Sir Shrieker. I, just, I get confused. Ooh, we have a tree. So yeah, we've uh, we've secured our safety in this little bit. Whether that will stay safe, I do not know. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you really want to see more of this series, I think it might be interesting just to see how far I get without spawning a, w a warden. <laughs> I was about to say Witherden, but eh. yeah, it will be really interesting to see how far I actually get with this. Because I've been on creative and played around with wardens. I actually quite like it. <laughs> like, wardens are actually really fun to play with. So I just haven't f dealt with any wardens in survival before. Even though the update. Really? Another one tree. Very helpful. Although wardens have been out for a really long time. So also if you want to see more sophisticated amity, please let me know. Like, it's, it's the cool skin. Let's just gather some pumpkins. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I already said that, didn't I? I swear. I'm not with it today. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I heard a noise. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection.